I didn't like put the shirt on to look extra cute or anything. I was totally wearing it before. Hello everybody, it's Timmy here and it's Friday and this week we're doing questions and answers where we like answer your questions. Okay, let's start. <laughs> right now I'm kind of blind because I took off my glasses because I feel like I look really gross with them so I'm going to look really close. By the way, I got new computers. They're gorgeous. The first one is from Sergi K and it says, have you ever done anything that you strongly regret that you strongly regretting now? Oh, that you are strongly regretting now. I can't read! That's a toughie, but I think it was when I shaved my head. Because after I shaved it, that month was like the most depressing month of my life. For like two months actually, until it like grew out more. It was like the most depressing month of my life. And I had no confidence, literally none. I just thought I was an ugly troll. And I was like, I'm not going out without a hat. I wore a hat for two months straight. But thankfully it grew out now. Oh yeah, and I dyed it purple. You like? <laughs> the next one is from The Rennie Show, and it says, If you would change one thing about our world today, what would it be? Well, um, obviously in this country it would be like gay marriage would be legal, and that, that just people would just be open-minded and just not such assholes about things. Not just about the gay thing, but like about people having purple hair. They're like, ew, it's so gross. Like, mostly old people. Like, you guys need to just, like, not all old people, but like there's a lot of old people that are closed minded because they're old fashioned and it's like, back in my day, we didn't have purple hair. <laughs> no one care about your day. Next one is from Amanda Dev who has two questions and it says, who was the strongest influence on you to come out of the closet if, if you had someone? Um, TVH, I like didn't have any influences because like, I like, I don't know any gay people in like real life, only through the internet. I just had this like moment where I was like, bling, 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 you gotta be gay, you gotta come out. So yeah, it was a pretty lonely time, but now I have so many supporters and I know a bunch of gay people through YouTube and everything, so like now I just feel like, I don't know, like I'm like one with the community and I love it. Next up is Amanda Dev's second question, which is, what's the one type of clothing you dislike the most? Um, I think that it isn't like one type of clothing, but it's like a style. I don't even know who does it, but like I've seen people before wear socks with their sandals, like flip flops or like just like the sandals that like tie. I just, I can't, it looks so bad when people wear socks with sandals. It looks so trashy. I can't look at them. I feel bad. I feel pity. Some people just can't. Oh, this is me, but you know, what can you do? I'm totally kidding. Next up is Carlos Civico. Hey, Carlos. Um, and it says, my question is, how do you react when a cute boy talks to you? Well, thing is, in real life, like in like person, I don't know any cute gay guys. I don't know any gay guys. Online, when I like talk to like a hot guy, like on Tiny Chat or something, like last night when I was Tiny Chatting, uh, I just act like a total spaz and a fool and I have no filter and I spew diarrhea of the mouth. It's just like I say the dumbest shit. I just hope that doesn't happen in real life when I meet a cute gay guy because that would not be cute. <sighs> diarrhea spewing everywhere. No, that's not cute. Next up is from I'm that one weird girl 98 and it says, what is your favorite quote? A dollar make me holla honey boo boo chow. <laughs> Kidding, that's not my favorite, but that's one of my favorites. One of them is also the same as Bose, which is help me, I'm poor. <laughs> help me, I'm poor. But um, I can't do the same one as Bo because he did that one already. Ooh, manhole. I like that word, manhole. <laughs> that's actually from the house, funny. It's, it's I can't, like I can't. It's like <sighs> that movie is so flawless and that quote is so flawless. I just one of my favorites. But I have so many that I just can't think of right now, so I just said that one. Okay. Next up is Captain Razzy. Hey girl, I love you Captain Razzy, you're so pretty. What's your OTP? One true pairing. Well, I know they're not together yet, um, and I know that, like, people don't even know who one of them is, but, like, you know, I can totally see them getting together, and, um, I think that is me and Niall Horan from One Direction, so, um, yeah, that's my one true pairing. Hey, Niall. I like your hair. Can I brush it? Can I snip it? No? Okay. I'll do that later. Last one is from Daniel Silverstone. Hey, Daniel. Um, and it says, who is your hero? I think my, like, comedic hero is Kristen Wiig. 
because everything she does, everything she says, everything about her is so hilarious. Like, I have no clue how she's that funny. Like, who who is that funny? No one else besides her. Like, she's the funniest person in the world. I just love her. She's my community carol. I love her. So, yeah, the phone's ringing. So, I have to go. But, um, I will see you guys next week and leave more questions for other weeks to come. And it'll be really fun. So, Come to the Sunday Hangout. Look forward to next week with the new boys. And it's going to be a good time. So I love you guys. Bye. Bye.